concern about the economy may have prompted consumers to hold back buying new cars in July. Ford's adjusted vehicle sales dropped 7 tenths of 1% last month compared with a 10% increase, which was expected by the analysts. George Pippis is Ford's North American sales analyst, and he's worked for the company for 34 years. George is here now, <laughs> joining us from Dearborn headquarters for Ford. Welcome, George. Great to see you. Seems like it was just yesterday, 34 <laughs> yeah. years. We ha well, congratulations to such a wonderful <laughs> tenure with the company. And I know you've been through all kinds of ups and downs with, with the for company. Sure. And, and hopefully we're, we're on the tail end, at least for Ford. But it was a bit of a pullback this month. And the Ford shares, as you probably are well aware, a little bit lower here in the trading session. As investors seem to focus on the fact that, as we said, on that adjusted basis, Ford reported a 7 tenths July sales decline. What happened? Yeah. Well, um, I think once they begin to interrogate the numbers, they're going to find out that in actual fact, it was our best month yet. So if they like the first two quarters of the year and the financial results that we were able to deliver, uh, I think they're going to like July once they get into the numbers. Uh, number one, it was our highest retail sales month of the year. Uh, we delivered only 4% of our volume to daily rental companies. And the first six months of this year, that was 16%. So we had an outstanding retail month led by uh, arguably our most profitable product. Uh, we sold over 50,000 F-Series to uh, retail and commercial fleet customers. And that's the best F-Series month since March 2008. So our, our, from our vantage point, uh, this was the best month of the year in quite some time. Okay, but what's the strategy going forward now, considering that the U.S. and European economies are in a soft patch here? Well, you're right. I mean, the, from a consumer standpoint, it still is a fragile situation. Uh, we were encouraged by the fact that consumers did seem to get off the couch and into dealer showrooms uh, in the month of July. Uh, people were wondering where the consumer was in May and June. Well, they did appear in July, and as I said earlier, the retail business carried us to a very strong level, uh, higher than our internal expectations. But I think going forward, uh, we can't just uh, draw some trend lines on the month of July. Uh, we're watching it very co carefully. We're going to continue to do what we have been doing, and that is focus on the customer and delivering these great products that has propelled Ford into the position it is right now, and uh, make keep close tabs on production because we don't want our inventories to get ahead of ourselves, not knowing exactly what frame of mind the consumers are in. With regard to the new Ford Explorer, you're asking people to pay more for, for a smaller engine but better fuel efficiency. How confident are you that the re-engineered Explorer is going to be as big of a hit as the original? Well, <laughs> it would be hard to be as big of a hit as the original because for nine years in a row, uh, the early Explorer sold uh, over 400,000 units a year. Uh, this is a much different market and it's a much different explorer. There's much more um, interest in fuel efficiency uh, and the new explorer is going to deliver that. Uh, I think it's going to provide consumers what they need out of a sport utility vehicle. Um, it's not a rough and tumble vehicle over hill and dale, you know, up, up mm -hmm. the sides of mountains because that's not what most people use it for. But it will definitely be the flagship of our utility uh, fleet. That said, uh, the Ford Escape, our smaller SUV, is uh, our best seller now and probably will continue to be for years to come. Are you concerned about the results out of China where Ford sales fell 6.3% last month? So Ford depends right on Asian markets to make up for lackluster U.S. and European consumer business. How big of a disappointment is that? Well, I'm not very disappointed. It's just one month. I think our sales are up over you know, 33, 38% in the first half of the year, uh, even including actually this uh, uh, most recent month decline. So um, a, a one month uh, hiccup, uh, speed bump in the road is not something that's uh, of overly concern. China is a place where we're going to be investing, and, and this is really true of all of Asia, uh, we're going to be making more of an investment in the future. And uh, so it's, this, this July result is of, not, of little or no concern. I think we've covered it all. George Pippis is sales analyst for Ford. Thanks again for your time. Thank you, Lori.